So um, today is a cool event, you know, transcendence. And what is transcendence? Like I don't like that word though. Like transcend. It's a cool word. Like say it to yourself, transcendence. Transcendence. Yeah, like, like it's like such a cool word. Like I would just like name my kid transcendence or something. <laughs> no. Everybody has this puzzled look on their face. Like what is transcendence? All right, so the word transcendence is exactly what, what is your name, I'm sorry? Lee Khan. Lee Khan? It's exactly what Lee Khan said, it's to go above and beyond. Do you think human beings have the ability to go above and beyond? Yes. Give me an example, who can give me an example of going above and beyond? Me? Go ahead, please, Lee Khan. I am in Lehman's Biggest Loser and I lost 1.2 pounds. Yeah! <laughs> okay. That's uh, in one week. Oh, wow. Okay. Definitely. So that's an example of going above and beyond. Somebody might say, oh, I can't do this. Ah, oh, this is too hard. It is hard. It is hard, she says. But you have to go above and beyond. <laughs> and you got to go above and beyond. A lot of times we have limitations. How many of you here are not good at something? <laughs> Everybody is, you know, has things that they're good at and things that they still need to work on they're not really good at. But do those things define us? Do they define us? Our limitations. If I can't draw, uh, am, am I just a person who can't draw? No. I'm more than that limitation, right? I'm more than that, than, than that, uh, that difficulty that I have in drawing. So we have to remind ourselves as human beings that we have this ability to overcome. Think about a mother, right? She has a little child. In the middle of the night, you hear the child you know, crying and screaming. She hasn't had any sleep. You know, the mother can say, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it in the morning. You know, the baby needs to be changed. No, but what do the mothers do? They wake up in the middle of the night, they take up that sacrifice, and they show love to that human being, to that baby of theirs, right? And we have that same ability to sacrifice, to go above and beyond. You know, when you love someone, it, you know, your life doesn't just revolve around you at that point. You know, it involves the other person as well. You know, you make decisions, you kind of base them on the other person as well. You want the best for the other person. And, um, yeah. Okay, great, great. Uh, so today I have, a, I have a question for you guys. And I want to start off with saying, how many of you want to be excellent wherever you are in your life? Okay. That's what I thought. So we all think of various heroes. Our parents, professors, political figures, or even fictional characters, like superheroes. <laughs> And the reason we find these people in one way or another admirable is because they stand out for one of, of the following ideals. Sacrifice, sacrifice, service, courage, truth, honesty, charity, and integrity. Let me, my, my personal story, transcendence, right? I'm from the Bronx, right? I'm from the Bronx. I, I'm not gonna come up here and come, you know, with a suit and go, hello everyone. I want to talk to you guys about transcendence. <laughs> and no, no, that's not that's not transcendence in the Bronx. Transcendence in the Bronx is, yo, my whole family is stressed out because we broke and we hungry. Transcendence in the Bronx is, yo, I see all of my homies and all of my people is, is, is stuck in this system. And we gotta break out of that. We gotta understand and know that we're beyond that. Transcendence in the Bronx is, yo, you know what? You say I have to dress this and that way, but you know what? I'm gonna add my own swag and my own little style and flavor to it. I'm gonna transcend just the limitations that you try to give me. And that's what art does, you know what I mean? So being an artist myself is about creating, you know, a, a, a culture of love and of transcendence. You know what I mean? That works. Uh, I just want to escape. Leave out of this place. It's the reason some people get based. Get drunk, smoke L's to the face. It's just they don't want to face the struggles and the hustles of every day. And the same holds true for me. So I sit down and pray. Entering lands of rhymes, this is the diary, my life and times. How I wish I could rewind back to yesterday, be purified. Mass attention, wish was mine. Can't lie, Lord, I doubt sometimes. Please send a sign, one miracle, I know I'm blind. These are souls of a sinful man with a broken nature, trying to understand 
fun and comfort and experimental land video game thoughts partridge in i blew it again and again scratched up this like the fingerprints the world seems to have a hold on me 24 7 how i wish to be free society i don't seem to fit with i know i'm called to live in the spirit but it seems like only through lyrics do i experience my transcendence <laughs> So, a lot of people try to put us in a box based on where you come from and what you do. But I'm beyond that. Love. Seems like I was broke almost all my life, living off boneless chicken and pork fried rice. And so that's that.